Hey guys, welcome to day number 58 here on 24 Kevin TV. I'm your host, 24 Kevin, and this is a Figure It Out Friday. Hurry up! I'm trying. Hi everybody, welcome to Figure It Out Friday. So, I'm a little behind today, so I thought I'd do this as fast as I can. I got a bunch of riddles for you from my previous show, so hopefully you guys enjoy these riddles and can solve them. Leave your answers down in the comment section below, and I hope you guys enjoy these riddles. Check it out. Once upon a time, a man was traveling along to find a village of truth tellers. All of a sudden, the man came to a fork in the road, met by two twins. One was from the village of truth tellers, and one was from the village of liars. But he couldn't figure out which one was which. Now, the village of truth tellers and the village of liars were a very sacred town. These two were actually the gatekeepers, and they agreed to let the man through if he could figure out which town was which. If he found the village of truth tellers, he'd be free to live in eternal glory. However, if he found the village of the liars, he would meet his immediate doom. But the twins agreed to help him. They said that he could ask them one question, but he could only ask one of the twins one question to figure out which road led to safety. So the question I ask you guys is, what is the question you could ask either of the twins to figure out which road led to the road of truth tellers? Remember, only one of them tells the truth and one of them lies, but you don't know which one is which. Once upon a time, there was a very happy couple. They had been married for nine years and their 10th anniversary was coming up. So the husband decided to try and go get the wife something beautiful. So the husband looked and looked all over town for something to get his wife, but unfortunately couldn't find anything for her. Just then he got to a wizard's enchanted garden. Now the wizard had told the village that if anyone picked anything from his garden, that they would be cursed for life, but some of the villagers didn't believe him. However, the husband didn't care. He decided to pick one of the flowers anyways. Right when he picked the flower, the great wizard appeared. He told him that it wasn't his choice, but that magic had taken hold, and he would transform him into part of his garden now. So the husband became part of the garden from that point out. Now, the wife was at home, and she was getting mad that her husband was missing the anniversary. All of a sudden, the wizard appeared out of nowhere in the wife's home. He told the wife that the husband had become part of his garden. The wife began to break down in tears and cry. The wife begged and pleaded with the wizard, saying the husband only did what he did out of love. The wizard agreed to help the wife, only if she could prove that she really loved her husband. He decided to set up a challenge. The wizard said, your husband is now a bush in my garden. If you can figure out which one of the three bushes he has become, I'll give him back to you. Every night, he'll transform into himself. However, in the morning, he will transform back into one of the rose bushes. There's one thing, however. If you get it wrong, you will spend eternity in my garden with your husband. The wife thought about this for a second and decided to accept the wizard's agreement. So the husband appeared on the first night, but no one came for him. Morning came and he disappeared. The husband appeared on the last night thinking this could be the last chance he could ever have to see his wife. The wife came to the garden just at sunup. As she was arriving, her husband disappeared. She walked right up to one of the rose bushes and touched it right away. Her husband reappeared and they all lived happily ever after again. Now the question for you is, how did she know which rose bush was her husband? You're on the train for seven days, and every day you have to pay the train driver exactly one foot of gold brick. Now you have two saws. Each saw can only be used once, and then they break forever. Now how would you cut your gold brick, and how would you pay the driver every day to make sure that you paid him exactly one foot of gold brick every day for seven days? If you guys need a little bit of extra motivation, they actually give this riddle to elementary school kids in Egypt. Once upon a time, three friends decided to go out for an afternoon and fly a kite. There was Ernie, who brought the kite, Bashful the Dwarf, who wanted to get away from his older brothers, and Clumsy, who just wanted to come have fun. Oof! Anyways, the three friends decided to take off to a valley. Hey. hey guys, wait for me. Oof. Oh. 
Unfortunately, the friends had trespassed in the valley of the evil wizard Jafar. And Jafar captured the three friends. The three friends begged and pleaded with Jafar to let them go. And Jafar agreed to let them go. They could solve this riddle. Jafar transported them immediately to a staircase and said this is how the game's going to work. All of you are now standing on a staircase. Ernie can see Clumsy Smurf and Bashful. Clumsy Smurf can see Bashful, and Bashful can't see anyone. There are no mirrors or anything, none of you can talk, and you're all only going to get one guess at this. Now this is how the game will work. Each of the three friends are each going to be wearing a hat. They're either going to be wearing two black hats and a white hat, or two white hats and a black hat. Not to be confused with the hats they're already wearing. So Jafar went and placed the hats on each one of their head and began to count. One, two, three, four, and and just as he was saying five, Clumsy Smurf says, I know what color hat I have on, and guess is right, and all his friends are free to go. The riddle is, how did Clumsy Smurf know which colored hat he had on?